Hey, welcome to part 3 of virtual work method. Now we're going to discuss how to use the virtual work method on trusses. Okay? So as you all know, we have here the formula for the virtual work method for trusses. Okay? So let's define first the formula. So now we have Again, the same uh, right term that is 1 times delta. Meaning, 1 here okay, 1 here will be your external virtual or unit load here 1 and then delta will be your deformation or deflection and then we have here n. So n here for the beam and frame that is small letter m, okay, equal to the small letter m. So this is the load, member load of for trusses due to virtual unit load. And N here, capital letter N. Or other, other book, this is F. Okay, F, small letter F. And this is big letter F. Or P. Okay. Okay, so. It's alright, no? To designate. It's so either N, or label this N or N, uh, capital letter N. You can use F or P, A, as long as you know how to distinguish both of these terms. Okay, so N here will be your, or P in other book, will be your member, lo member load. due to real loads okay and l here will be the length of your member and then a here will be the cross-sectional area Okay, cross-sectional area. And E here will be same modulus of elasticity. So as you can see, the difference is uh, at the bottom, this is uh, for flexure, this is EI, okay, for for uh, your uh, for more information EI no for flexural bending and AE is for normal stress or compression or tension okay so meaning this is for elongation of member okay the or uh, compression of the member okay so if this is the deformation, the resisting will be AE. Okay? So meaning first the rigidity of the material E and also the cross section will have the effect in the elongation or in the compression of its member. So this is truss. Okay? For trusses, we assume that the member only carry a normal loads okay it will not carry flexure it will not bend okay we assume that it will not bend okay so meaning it's only tension or compression so this is how to solve for each 
deflection. Okay? So, meaning you will add all of the n times n times L over AE for each member. Okay? So, now, how can we use that? So, let's go for the example. So, we have here a thrust. So, as you can see, we have a support at A and D. And then, we have a load of 100 kilonewton at point B and C. As a given show, it's a uh, cross-sectional area here. So, 2,600 okay, for DE and so on. And now, we need to determine the deflection at C. Okay? So, what will be the position at C? So, if, if there's load downward here, we assume that C will move here. Point C, so let's call it that C prime, will move at this point. Okay, this is C. It's delta at point C. Okay. Okay, so let's take that. Now let's solve for that. This delta C. Okay. Okay. So next, uh, first here, we're going to, so let me write the requirement. No, So the required is for us to solve delta C. Okay. Let's uh let's make a clear requirement. So let's uh determine the vertical. Okay. Vertical deflection at C. Okay, delta C. The first reactions. So we need to solve for reactions. Okay, so the reaction here for this point, for these real loads, okay? So here we have this roller support. So you only have one. Okay. And then we have here another support so dx this is da i ah, sorry that's ax sorry ax okay and then we have here dy okay so next we're going to solve first dy no okay so dy summation Forces along y is equal to 0. So, we have 2 here. 100, 100. So, meaning, okay, by observation only, dy must be equal to 200. Okay. The next one, for the two horizontal, so we need to use summation moment at x, uh, at, sorry, at point A is equal to Zero positive clockwise. Okay, so there are uh, there are only two horizontal here, so meaning each one will cancel each other. So meaning the one will be have uh, but both of them will be opposite in direction. No? So meaning same magnitude opposite in direction. So. Let's solve for the first, no, the dx. So dx is positive times its moment arm 4.5. And we have plus 100 times 6, then plus 100 times 12. That is equal to 0. Okay? This is your uh, rotation, no? So 100 times uh, I have four, dx times 4.5. 100 times 6, and then 100 times 12. So that's dx here. So we can now solve it. So 100 times 6, 
plus 100 times 12. That is 1,800. And divided by 4.5. Okay, that's 400. So the, our answer here is equal to negative 400. Newton for dx. So meaning dx here will go to the opposite direction. Okay? And then ax will be in the same direction and equal to magnitude of that dx. So this is 400. Okay, so we are now complete for the reactions. Next, we are going to solve for the capital letter N or the Member force due to real loadings. And that is due to the 200 kilonewton. So, as you can see, we can start here, okay? Or we can start here, okay? So, here. In this problem, so the reactions here will be ah uh, bagam uh, hindi na natin sila kailangan pag nagstart tayo sa C, okay? So let's start at point C, okay? So here at point C, we can now draw the free body diagram. So this is the trusses uh, member, sorry. Okay, and then so this is your force here. We assume tension. This is CE. And then we assume also tension here. This is CB. And then we have here your 100. And then we need this theta here or this slope for this one. So we have 6, 4.5. So 4.5, 6. So the length of this one, okay, using our calculator here. So, nawala naman yung calculator natin. Okay, sorry. Nakalimutan ko pindot yung record. So, let me explain first. So, this one, uh, we solve for CE. Then, we solve for this one. Okay. CE and then CB. So, negative 133. This one. So, uh, this one negative uh, 133 so meaning this is compression and then next we go after point c we go to point uh it's either b or e but e is uh, has three unknown so we cannot go okay at joint e for now no we go to joint b so at joint b as this is the simplest joint so meaning, if we have CB, BC here, that is 400 over 3. So rule of equilibrium, we need, we also need uh, another force horizontal. This is AB, that's 400 over 3. Same magnitude, opposite in direction. Also, this is compression, AB. And also, we have BE, 100 kilonewton, to negate the 100 kilonewton vertical load okay so after that we go to point a okay it's your call if you're going to point e or point a let's go for point a so at point a here we have here a e a summation forces x equal to zero a e will be the first unknown that we're going to solve So, let's have positive going to the right. So, AE will be positive times its component along 
uh, it's a component is uh, 6 over 7.5 yep and then we have minus all right so minus 400 over 3 this one and then plus 400 for the support AX okay this is the free body diagram simplified no free body free body free body diagram so it's equal to zero so now we can again compute this one so this is uh 400 minus 400 over 3 is equal to 800 over 3. Then we transpose that to this the other part. It will give us negative 800 over 3. Okay. So 800, 800 over 3. This is negative. Negative 800 over 3. Divided by 6 over 75. So let's make that 6 over 7.5. Divided by 75, sorry, this 7.5. So equal, enter, it's uh, AE. AE here is equal to negative 1000 over three or three hundred thirty three point thirty two okay next AD okay so AD so summation forces along y is equal to zero okay here AE and AD are the member that will have horizontal uh, vertical load so meaning so this is negative no the compression will be ae so ad will be in tension okay summation forces along y is equal to zero positive upward so we have ad plus AE so A is negative 1000 over 3 times its uh, times its uh, vertical component that is 4.5 over 7.5 so AD is equal to this is equal to 0 is equal to So one thousand over three times four point five over seven point seven point five. Enter that's equal to two hundred. Positive. Okay. So next last one so we have a last member de so we can now use this part here for segment de so as you all know this is point d this is we assume this is de a tension and this is ad also tension then we have here the reactions so upward dy and then going to the left dx okay so this is your dx going to the left this is 400 and then also we have dy is upward also here okay upward this is your dy this is 200 so dy will cancel out no okay we'll make it uh, equilibrium 
not cancel out. So, summation forces is equal to 0. And then, as you all know, D here will be equal to, as you can see, is equal to 400 kilonewton. Okay, tension. Okay, so next, after that, pag nakuha na natin lahat ng member force, we need to get for the small n. So, small n here will be the virtual normal force of member. Okay? Of the thrust. Okay? Virtual normal force of member. So, we're going to draw again the thrust. Sorry, not uh... hey. may have to go, no? talaga mag drawing so let's insert a line para mas madali another line another line Okay, so next we're going to put okay, delta C ang hinahanap natin. So meaning we're going to load a vert, uh, vertical one unit load at point C. So this is one kilonewton. Then as you can see the first, the best thing here to solve for the member forces is to solve it at point C para hindi mo na kailangan kunin yung reaction so let point let's have our solution at point, joint C so at joint C this is your point this is your one, 1 kilonewton this is your CB ok so let's A B, C, D, E. So don't, don't forget that we have dy here. I D X sorry. And we have dy. And also we have A X. Okay. Okay. So we have here one. Then, and ito yung ating CE and ating CB. Okay, same here. This is 4.5, 6, this is 7.5. Okay, summation forces along Y. So, meaning, uh, positive upward, meaning you have CE here times 4.5 over 7.5. Positive minus 1 is equal to 0. So, CE here is equal to 7.5. So, equal to 7.5 divided by 4.5. 7.5 divided by 4.5. So, this is 5 over 3. Okay, so don't forget about that. This is 5 over 3 tension. Okay, 
So next, CB. So for CB, so as you can see, CB is negative. Okay? Compression yan. So negative Five over three. Sana natin na kwa five over three. This is CE, no? Times para kunin natin yung horizontal component ng CE times natin ng six over seven point five. Okay? So CB natin ngayon is negative, meaning compression. That is five. Over 3 times 6 over 7.5. So that is 4 over 3. Negative. So dito, upabas nyo. This is a uh, by observation. By inspection, so we have a non-collinear BE. So this is equal to zero. Okay. Then next one, if this is compression for over three, so we also need this comp compression for over three. Okay. So next we're going here at point. E. Okay? So, point E. Tension. We assume tension. So, we assume this is tension. So, this uh, this is not assumption. So, we solve for that. CE. So, CE is equal to 5 over 3. This is uh, member AE and then member DE. Okay, so this one, summation forces along y is equal to zero positive upward. So we have negative 5, 3. Okay, yung component niya vertically. So negative 5, 3. Para makuha natin yung vertical component, times lang natin siya ng 4.5 over 6. And then also minus AE. So same pa rin, no? Uh, 4.5 over 6 din. Okay, para makuha natin yung vertical component din ng AE. Then, this is 0. So wala tayong, ano dyan? Wala tayong BE. So that is 0. So there's no other load. So that's equal to 0. So meaning, we can cancel 4.5. Over 6, so AE here is equal to negative 5 over 3. So meaning compression. So next is DDE. A summation forces along X is equal to 0, positive going to the right. So CE. Okay, but, uh, horizontal component of CE going to the right. So, that is 6 over 7.5. And then, we have, so, this is negative na so. So, if we're going to look at this, the assumption, so, uh, negative yan. Sorry. Kasi yung kanyang horizontal component will be going to the right, no? Uh, to the left. So, minus AE. So, ang AE natin is, let's substitute, ah, substitute na natin yan. So, negative, ang AE natin is negative 5 thirds, no? Yan. Okay. And then, it's component 6 over 7.5 also. And then we have minus DE is equal to 0. So DE will be equal to, add lang natin tong dalawang to, no? So add lang natin yan. So 5 times 6 
over 3 times 7.5. So, plus natin siya kasi magiging positive yun. Ah. Tama. Okay. So, 5 times 6 also over 3 times 7.5. So, it's times 2, no? So, 8 over 3. So, 8 over 3 will be DE. Yun. Okay? So, the answer positive. So, meaning this is tension. So, next member na hindi pa natin nasasolve is AD. So, pag dito tayo kasi, so, we need pa to solve DY. So, alam natin ng DY here is equal to 1. Right? So, meaning, DE must be equal to 1. Okay? Or kung ayaw nyo maniwala, ito tayo sa point A. This is your compression na AE, that is 5 thirds. And then we have here, the compression again of and four thirds that's a b and then we have here your ax and then we have here we have some uh, the assumption here will be tension a d so summation forces along y is equal to zero positive upward we have a d minus five thirds of 4.5 over 7.5. Okay. So, this is equal to 0. AD now is equal to 2. So, attention. So, 5 times 4.5 divided by 3 times 7.5. This is equal to 1. Okay, 1 kilometer. Okay. So, kompleto na tayo. We need uh, another, ano? Yan. Okay. Okay, we need another uh, slide, no? So, kompleto na tayo. Gagawin lang natin, para mas madali, is, maglalagay lang tayo ng table. Okay? So, ang table natin, is lagay lang natin lahat ng member. So, ang member natin is AB, AD, AE, then we have also B, E, Anahin natin. Anahin natin yung D, no? B, C, then B, E, and then we have C, E, and then we have D, E. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? Then, we write it's a length. Kailangan natin, no? Length. And then, area. Yung E na nila, hindi no need kasi para parehas sila ng E. So, length nila. So, balik tayo doon. Doon sa ating given. So, ang parehas ng length is AD, BE. And then, that's 4.5. And then, para-parehas na itong 6, uh, 6 na D, E, A, B, B, C. Okay? So, A, D. So, A, D is 4.5. And also, B, E, 4.5. And then, yung C, B is, uh, A, B natin is 6. Then also, yung BC natin is 6. And also, yung DE natin is 6. 
So, ang AE natin 7.5 and then yung CE natin 7.5. Ang area nila, so ang parparehas na area is yung nandito sa outer na ito. No? So, ang di lang parehas, yung 2000 is AD and then AE. Okay. So, madali lang siya memorize. No? So, AD 2000 no? Uh, this is mm square. This is meter. No? So, AD and then AE. The rest, 2, 6 na. And then, we have to solve a uh, next no, column is the N. N, so, cool. Dito na sa kabilang slide yan, no? So, member, mauna tong A, B natin. So, ang A, B dito. Uh, mali yata ako ng pinuntang slide. So, yan. A, B natin. Is negative 4 thirds. So, let's write para mas madali natin makita dito, na. So, negative 4 thirds, 0. Itong CE natin is uh, 5 thirds tension, no? Then, DE natin dito is compression to. Malamang. Ay, sorry. Tension pala. Ito pala ang compression natin. Negative 5 over 3. So, tension 1 to. No? So, ito yung compression. Ang dalawang to. Ay, ang tatlong to. Tension to. Ang tatlong to, no? Okay, so, madali na natin makuha yan. So, punta tayo. AB. So, AB is negative 4 thirds. And then, AD is 1. So, AB is negative 4 thirds. AD is 1. A is negative 5 thirds. BC is also negative 4 thirds. And then, BE. 0. CE is 5 thirds. And then DE is 8 over 3. Think na? Right. Okay. So next, muna tayo dun sa dito naman, no? Lagay na lang natin ulit dito yung kanilang mga member forces para madali. So CE natin, pinakaunang nakuha is 6, uh, 500 over 3. Positive. And then also BC natin, or CB, nakalagay dito, 400, negative 400 over 3. And this is also negative 400 over 3. This is 100, positive. And this is DE here. So yung DE natin, hindi ko makita. Nasaan yung DE? Alas natin nakuha yan. No? Dito, so 400 yung DE natin. Positive. And then, AE is negative 1,000 over 3. And then, last yung AD natin. AD is 200. Yun. Okay. So, next... Punta tayo dun sa table. So, ano yung table natin? So, 200. Yung, yung AB is negative 400 over 3. So, lagyan na natin yung N. No? N will be the member force due to the real loads. So, AB is 400 over 3. Negative ulit. No? Compression. So, AD is 200. Then, negative 1,000. Negative 1,000 over 3. Then, BC is negative 400 over 3. B is 100. CE is 
let's see e let's check it c e is negative 500 over 3 Ah, positive sorry positive over 3 and then de here is two ah, sorry 400 okay so kalalang natin no yung summation yun nasa yun nasa taas and l no yan kalalang natin yan over A. Okay? Over A na lang muna. Okay? Kasi yung E, sa last natin siya di-divide kasi constant naman sila. Okay? So, over A na lang muna kasi magkakaiba sila ng A. So, times lang natin yan. Bawat isa, no? This one, tatimes mo lang. So, unahin natin yung una, no? 6 times. So, let's convert this one in meter. So, paano ba ikaw convert yan? Di-divide lang natin siya ng 2,6 divided by 1,000 squared, no? Yan lang siya. Tapos, enter natin. Uh, divide pa siya. Hindi siya sa times, no? Okay, 2,6 divided by 1,000 square. Enter natin siya. So, ilang zero. So, times 10 raised to. Okay. So, inilipat ko lang yung mga data natin sa mas maayos na table. So, here, as you can see. Okay, so, yung nakuha natin kanina, okay, we converted the area. For A, uh, mm square, ginawa natin meter square. So, ang mangyayari lang, itong uh, 2,600 ay magiging 2.6 times 10 raised to 3. So, take note of that. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin, kukompute na natin yung N, uh, N, okay, times the capital letter N, times its length, in meter over area in meter square. No? So let's try to sort, uh, solve. Let me check if naka record na. Okay, naka record na. Okay, ito na. So let's start. So 6 times 2.6 times uh, 10. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, times uh, n muna, no? Sundin natin yung formula, no? Okay, so negative uh, 4 over 3 okay, times uh, negative 400 over 3 times length, that is 6 okay, divided by uh, Quantity 2,000, uh, 2.6, sorry, 2.6 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay? The answer is 4,010. So, yun yung nalagay natin dito, no? So, 4,010256.4103. Next, is papalitan lang natin yung uh, ito, ng 1. Okay, papalitan natin ng 1 to no? 1. So, pwede naman nila nilagay yung 1. Pero magpakita lang natin Okay, 200 times uh, its length 
that is 2,000, ah, sorry, that is 4.5. Okay, ito magiging, ano lang ito, 2. Okay. Okay. So, that is equal to 45, 450,000. Yan. So, next. So, balik tayo dito sa calculator natin. So, ito, 2.0 uh, times 10 raised to negative 3 pa rin. Pero ang length niya magiging 7.5. And then, uh, kanyang n is negative 5 thirds. So, negative 5 over 3. Then, itong ano niya, uh, capital letter N is negative 1,000 over 3. And then, enter. So, ito yung magiging sagot natin. So, 20, uh, what's that? 2 million, no? 83,333.33. Okay. Let me check. Okay. Okay na. So, next tayo. Uh, huwag kalutan yung negative, no? Sign natin. Tama ba? Okay, tama. So, kung tayo sa pangalawa. So, ito. 4 thirds na ito. Susunod. Then, next is negative 400 na siya. And then, ang kanyang length ay 6 meters. And, ang kanyang... Uh, area is 2.6 no? times 10 raised to negative 3. Enter lang natin. So, makukuha natin sagot is 41256.40 0. 0. 0.4103. Okay, so, parehas na siya doon, no? Sa ta A, B, and B, C is the same. So, next dito, so, 0 na yung end doon sa so, matematics 0. Ito 7.5 ulit. Okay, so positive 5 thirds and 500 over 3. So, nagawin uh, natin, type lang natin yan. No? Ito natin sa calculus. Hindi na pwede natin i-divide ng 2 to kasi 7.5 yung, ay, parehas pa lang 7.5, no? Yung C and A E. No? C E and A E. 7 po. Same. Uh, yung area niyang magkaiba. So, hindi natin pwede siyang i-divide. Nang 2 sana, no? Dahil 500 lang ito, 1,000. Okay, pero, input na natin, class, ha? So, 5 thirds. So, positive na to 5 thirds. And then, positive 500 over 3. And length niya is 7.5 divided by yeah, 2.6 times 10. Okay, enter lang natin. So, ang lalabas dyan is 801-282.0513. So, last one. So, ito is 8 over 3. So, member D na tayo. So, ito is full number na 400. Ang length niya is 6 meters. And, ang kanyang area is 2.6 times 10. That is negative 3 square meter. Enter lang natin. So, ang lalabas dito is 2461538.462. Okay. And then, adding this uh, answer so we can and we can say here that the uh, summation so that equation natin no? Okay, so the summation of n 
L okay. A is equal to yan, add lang natin itong mga to, no? So, add lang natin sila 410256.4103 plus 45.0 plus 20833.3 makakasunod plus 0.3 plus 410-256.4103 then plus 801-282.0513 then plus 246-1538.462 okay ang lalabas dyan is ito so 661- Ah, uh, 16 apat, apat na 6.667. Okay? So, di delta di delta C now delta C is equal to okay, no? 61 Uh, 6, 6, 1, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6,
that's equal to 33.08 mm okay 33.08 mm so this is our answer for uh, solving delta C okay so take note class okay, in solving uh, using virtual method positive means uh, this uh, your answer is the same direction as the unit load the virtual unit load na nilagay mo okay pagpataas to no ang nilagay mong 1 at ang lumabas ay uh, negative delta C so meaning opposite ng pataas na 1 kN na lagay mo sa downward okay so walang kaso class kung ano yung direction ng ilalagay mong 1 kN okay pag gamit itong virtual uh, force okay uh, virtual work method okay so uh, you can also uh, solve for the horizontal uh, deformation. Okay? Yung uh, pag-iba ng location ng C natin as respect to horizontal. Okay? Paano natin gagawin yun? So, maglalagay lang tayo ng 1 kN on along horizontal. Okay? Pwede papuntang kaliwa, pwede pwede papuntang kana. Okay? Pag nagawa na natin yun, ulitin lang natin yung process. So, same pa rin yung formula. N will be the force member. Small letter N will be the force member due to that unit load. And then, capital letter N is the force member due to the real loads. And then, uh, L is the length over AE. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you very much for listening. And see you on the next lesson.